Hi there, do you have friends and deep thinkers? To King and Alfonso II Rodriguez of Portugal. We are still feeling fine. Ah, we have a medicine focus. <laughs> We've just taken over a lot of this land. One of the last uh, realms in Hispania that was Muslim faith. And we have a few wonders. We have a few things to do. Of course, you can see that we need to distribute our holdings. A lot of the holdings, and we have something interesting. A very good Infante Rodrigo Leonores of Portugal and the sterile man with his chaste wife has a kid, which will now be the heir of our heir. Our heir is a rapacious blackguard, and he's really pretty evil. Killed his brother, for example, but he's gout ridden. He likes to. He like, he's a comfort eater, so that leads to even worse being gout ridden. He's incestuous. <laughs> he's a kinslayer and a murderer. And he's profligate. And there's so many things that this guy is that are not 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 at all nice. He's good at learning, <laughs> and mastermind philosopher, and he's deceitful, ambitious, and fickle. And we don't know how this girl came to be, but what we want to do is we want to offer her a guardianship from us. Hey there, kid. And then we'll we'll change her focus probably to something like learning because we're learned and she's a woman, so we'll not give her a martial education against the family tradition, you could say. But that's only for males, because males can only be commanders usually. So that's what we're doing. And then we need now to distribute all these counties to our sons and uh, to some some other people. So what we want to keep is Malagon, Ucles, Cuenza, Molina, Madrid and Toledo. Because that's basically our core. And so um, let's see what we can do here in Alcanes. We have a few sons and nephews that are without, um, without much. And this guy here, Alfonso del Tadres de Cantabria, our nephew, is a quick, brilliant strategist. We'll give him that. Alcanes, then there is Castellon. Pretty good too. We have the other twin here. <laughs> it's nearly the same. Oh, Aldara is no longer our antiquarian. She moved, she moved with him. It's probably her son or something. Rodrigo Aldaris de Cantabria became our vassal. The side effect of that is, of course, that we have excellent marshals now. <laughs> and we have Teruel here. Look at that, a shallow ore mines. There's some really interesting buildings here. We have another nephew, Andres Alderes de Cantabria here. He's forgiving as well. We kind of like him. Um, uh, we also want to have our dynasty in there. So let's give him, him that. It should be good. And then we have Valencia, also extremely important. The city, here there's a temple, there's, there's also that castle here. So who will get that? Who will get that? Our player air cannot really get much, so... Um, We'll have to uh, continue with our sons. For example, Infante and Alfonso Leonores of Portugal. And he has one option free here. So Valencia is, is important and is definitely an option for him. Here we go. Then we have Denia here at the coast. 
An extremely good holding. And we'll give that to... Let's have a look. I mean, maybe our brother will get something. Well, let's have a look at Infante Christian Adolfonses. And here's one title. It's the County of Almeria. Let's see where that is. It's here. It's here. So Almeria. Maybe we'll give him something near that. Like Murcia or something like that. Something close, at least. So Now 11-year-old Infante Christian and Alphonses. Here we go. Uh, how many counties can you have? Four. Four. So Murcia. Uh, we have Granada, yeah, that's of our other son. We have um, Alcaraz. Can give that two to our son here. And maybe also Alicante. Where are you, Christian? Here we go. He'll be pretty important as well. Yeah, we want him to, to be good. The bold believer. Bold. He's per practicing trade, apparently. Um, what more do we have? Well, we had Denia here. Uh, we can give that to our son. And that's a, that's a beautiful thing. Fishing at Bailey, homesteads, levying grounds. Infante Luke at Alphonsus of Portugal will get that thing. Luke, I am your father. Uh, there's even more Portugal. Look at that, the islands. Um, let's see, there's Alarcon. It's part of the Duchy of Murcia, okay. Uh, which means we, we should and could maybe give that to our little one. That kind of belongs to that. Uh, we have Jaén here. That all belongs to our brother. Cabra, Cordoba, Malaga. That thing, that thing. Of these we had given to our nephews. Valencia, yes, and then we have I Ibiza. Also very good holding, but an island, so hard to defend rather. Still, Luke will get that. Uh, let's see, he, yeah, he can also get, get some more. So Luke will get that thing. Ibiza and maybe Mallorca. Perfect. So our family is a whole lot more important right now. And we are down from 17 to 6 out of 5. Yeah, we, we still have the faint hope that we can uh, leave this intact. That's basically it's supporting our realm mostly. And that is mostly true too. So um, what is what is the next thing we could look for? We yeah, have the Salimid Emirate, definitely, or some more. So um, and that's the two things we, we need to go for. If we want to fulfill the holy mission of our um, of our forefathers to say like the dream to make Hispania uh, Catholic. So we're teaching the miracle girl very soon hopefully now and there's other things though we can do. We can ransom this guy, um, this woman, Tincent Amu Amukid. So we'll do that, get some money. Uh, we can declare wars of course, we can negotiate some alliances, that would maybe be a good idea. Rodrigo with Alfonso and with Andres, our new vassals. 
we should have a look at our council, right? Uh, we have Infante Alfonso here. A son, a steward, a marshal. Yeah, yeah. In time, we'll have to replace at least our brother in marshal here. He's um, he's fine. He got lost. What? What about him? He's so. I don't know how I feel about him. I mean, he's an insightful thinker. He has a lot of learning, but he's also kind of somehow a failed man with. I, I don't know about him. It's, he's so... He's kind of weird. He's kind of weird. He got lost. Completely lost on a pilgrimage. Let's hope he comes back. <laughs> he comes back alive. It's, it's crazy. So... Um, let's see. I mean, some more. That, that, could, be, that could be something, right? 3,000 men, they have two allies, Vuli and Asfi, or the Salimids. Let's see, could we declare on them? They have 2,400 men, but we still, we, we want to prepare a bit. We want to regain the, the levies, the, the men-at-arms, and then can we do what we want here. Um, and we should hold court. We should hold court. Like just in between. That makes a lot of sense. There's the three people again. The woman who approaches my throne is clearly a commoner. My lord, she begins her speech. I represent the local community of Toledo. Who, who is her? Sabella Alvarez. She's forgiving and honest. She's a very virtuous woman. In the last few months, our cemeteries have been plagued with the disappearance of bodies. All had been dug up and left no trace. At first we feared wild animals or obscure powers at work, but then your own court physician, Mayo, was caught red-handed holding the dead away for her experiences. Ah, oh, we were, we were, we have a budding friendship with her, my goodness me. She's also forgiving. That could not be. She's, she's such a good physician. Please put a stop to this blasphemy. Why didn't you invite me, Mayor? Um, I don't know. Encouraged grave robbing? No, no, no. Fresh living bodies make for better test subjects. What? What, really? Guards arrest the grave robber? No, no, no. Um, uh, we'll... I mean, we're faithful. So, safe cemeteries? Yeah. Maybe just cut it off. A peasant man stands before me, informing the court of his plea. That's him, Abu Bakr, an Andalusian Catholic peasant leader, interestingly, with a lot of intrigue, a zealous, fickle, lustful man. The recent war took a toll on the countryside, and we're not sure who the culprit was, but they looted an important cultural site to us, Andalusians from Ucles. Please, we beseech you. Spare some of your resources so we can see it restored. The peasant ends his request with a clumsy bow, a clear indicator of their low-born status. Uh, we could... Um, yeah, you should have received the necessary funds for the restoration. That will be a, an advantage. The day of truth, my lord, my steward, queen mother, Toda takes the floor. I have an idea to improve taxation. You could send surveyors to question your subject about every property, its name, owner, extension and value, and how many people and animals live there. Uh, not worth it now. I mean... Ho oh, ho, the survey. It will take months to complete. Yeah, well, very, very well. Proceed with the survey. Oh, we're broke now. My business here is done. But she's, she, she'll hopefully live long. Let's see, she's, her, her health is poor, she's ailing. Hopefully she can complete it. Hopefully she can complete it. Um, we need the money. We need the money. You're in debt. Yeah, I know, I know. How did that come? Yeah, it's always the same. When you hear the people and you get in debt. We need an antiquarian. Gonzal de Noboa, or our daughter here, Infanta Marquesa of Portugal, but she's she's of disputed heritage. Maybe Infanta Ximena, she'll go away very soon. 
Consul de Noboa. The one-eyed man. The one-eyed adventurer. Yeah. You'll go for that. Now, let's continue. We're happy to accept your proposed education arrangement. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit. Yeah, yeah, I'll care. I'll care for your kid. Now, let's see what she what she could be doing. Excellent. Uh, yeah, betrothed to the Fron Fronilde. And an alliance with Count Alfonso. With our nephews. Extremely useful. Ha! Ah, yeah, here, here we go. Very nice. Alliance is formed. And here we go. Incomes doing fine lines about legacy. Ah, the latest work of my son in law, King Poncio, has become all the rage at court of late. The peace deals with memory and what we leave behind, and Poncio has publicly dedicated it to me. The memoriam of a king. What man does not hope to rest when tired is work surrounding the happy retired. And hope only for memory's grace that their history finds true place. So far I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore it for much longer. He's a content atheist. Still is Catholic. He's, he's a weird drunkard. Do we like him? Probably, yes. Mm. We could, we could, um, I can see this is truly heartfelt. Let's just become uh, kind of friendly with him, right? Why not? What would be bad about this? He kind of cares for us and uh, so we kind of care for him. A forgiving man, and uh, this mockery will not will not be bad for us. What are you doing, my son? I have a lot of gold. Queen Mother Toda exists. Finish the promote culture task in Ucles. Very nice. Yeah, let's promote more cultures, and uh, yeah, in Madrid, actually, eight years. Does she have eight years in her? <laughs> we'll see about that. Ah, our good Queen Ines, the beautiful Queen Ines. A wife, high almoner and soulmate. Wonderful. Even though she's not good as a high almoner, but I mean, she's our soulmate. Became the culture head of Astor Leonese culture. Yeah, of course. That was... That was the... What? A dangerous faction, the Andalusians, and... Oh, we have a claimant. Our cousin, the King of Badajoz, Mem and Count Anser, the Castello Branco. <sighs> Too weak to send an ultimatum? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Someone inspired here. Ildgith. God is absolve eager reveler, naive appeaser. A book inspiration. We would be in on that, but we don't have the money at the moment. Oh, or maybe we have. We'll sponsor that. Let's see, how about we recruit her? We don't need to recruit her, even though she's relatively good. Sponsor her inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Write a book based on learning. Here we go. Book inspiration funded. Yeah, come to a learned man offering to write a book. Of course he'll say yes. What's happening now? The day of truth survey completed. It's done, my lord, states my steward Queen Mother Toda as she bows in front of me. Several months ago you commissioned a survey of all your lands. Now it's completed, and details on ownership and land value are collected in this book. As long as this conscription is faithful to reality, your taxation will be more efficient throughout your realm. Excellent job. Excellent job. For 30 years. Excellent job, Toda. 
Good, good, good. Wow, 5% more vessel contribution. Hmm, that's not too much, but hey, for 30 years, maybe we'll live 30 years. It's a stretch, but we, we could maybe do it. We could maybe do it. Luke, I am your father. How are you doing, Luke? Are you getting some gold? Yeah, a little bit. Not much, though. Not much at all. Let's have a look. Um, she is bossy. So that's the first thing. Let's see what we can give her. Bossy do well with the martial education. Education focus. Yeah, intrigue. That might struggle with diplomacy. Stewardship. Stewardship and Marshall. <clears throat> I mean, she's a woman, so let's give her the stewardship. She will not be able to really lead armies, so... We'll try our best for her to learn stewardship. Structured something in Cuenza. Diplomacy topics. My beneficiary, Eldgith, approaches me with her arms full of scrolls and manuscripts. My lord, there are so many areas of diplomacy that are worthy of attention. Courtly conduct. Relationships, poetry, I don't even know where to start. You came to me with the idea for a book. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I mean, what does your, what topic does your muse yearn year for? So, yearn for higher quality. Yeah, we want quality. We don't really care about what we need quality. We care about a good book, not a book. Are we already swaying someone, by the way? What are these guys speaking? Butter. The Berber language? Hmm. Could challenge him to an artifact. Can we learn another language, by the way? Maybe of Astorius? No. Of Navarra? I think we've already learned Basque. Yeah. About Lotharingia. French. Oh, look. Uh, he's probably uh, related to us, right? King Louis of Lotharingia? Not really. Okay, okay. Queen Mother, Adamar, Count of Genoa, hmm. Could learn the language, the Doyle Volga language. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Some French will help us. In this time and age. Considered opinion, my writer he updates me on her progress, droning in about the limits of quill and desk. My mind reels with bold ideas for my book. Writing might not, may not be my personal forte, but that doesn't mean I can't have a say in how my money is spent. I have a few suggestions. A diplomacy challenge. Have you considered this angle? <laughs> um, she knows, no, 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 we'll, we'll just put, put something in of, because of our high learning. Ideas work well. Nice. Slightly higher quality. Countess Adela leased the barony of Turney out. And we could, we could, we could uh, write our thoughts down. Not yet. Um, ah, we can ask for gold. Yeah, please. Give us some gold. It's because it's really expensive making these lands better. Barony of Toledo? Yeah, yeah, we want something there. Maybe better mansions or better bastions. Let's upgrade the, that to the second one. Should be good. A little bit more defense is also not too bad. 
Ah, and we can learn more. Let's see. We could be healthy. Health, medium boost. Very, very nice. Very nice. We'll just be healthy. A little bit boring, but healthy. To the fourth king of Alfonso, we will not stand for your vile oppression of good Andalusian Mubaladis any longer. Our time is now at hand, with Allah guiding us. Rise up and free ourselves from the infidel rule. What if I adopted your ways? No, no, no. You want freedom? You shall have it in death. Your wicked deeds have gone unpunished. That changes today, for I have come to deliver holy retribution upon you. Allah, have mercy on you, for I shall grant you none. Rally the troops. One, two. Wow! Woo, that's, a, that's kind of big. That's kind of big. How about we call in some house members? Infante. The Countess. Uh, yeah, I mean, why not be the head of the house? The house must suppress those who want to suppress the house. Dynasty members. The king, yeah, that's all about renown. We don't want that. Allies could do that. I don't think we need to. Raise all the armies. Foes shall learn to fear the men of Catheris. Excellent. We have a lot of people joining the war now. Everybody's coming, everybody's coming. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, step by step. Um, first in our lands here, I think. They're going away already. Are they uniting with something? Uh, must go over. These will have to stay for long. We'll just... We'll move over here. That's the first thing we should go to. Charge! Wow, they're joining each other. That's terrifying. So each progress is good for them. We'll march in here. 7,000 men. That's really terrifying in Teruel. We must stop them. But first we must stop this. Our knight was wounded. Oh no! So we've won this. Let's go over here. We have some advantage for that. Hmm. Enemy joins war. Emir Jagar Munson of the Bakalid Emir. Where is the Bakalid? Oh, it's here. Okay. Move over there. Fellow connoisseur, my vassal, Major Sancho, accosts me. Well met, liege. I've heard of the patronage of Elgith, the writer. They say she's writing about diplomacy worthy of a king. Please take this and give it to her. I wouldn't want to miss the chance to aid in the creation of a masterpiece. Poor Sancho must have more money than she knows what to do with. How generous. Uh, yeah, how generous. Slightly higher quality. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Let's get in there. Oh, we have another inspiration. Another book. Aiza Abdallahid. Nah, she's Muvaladi. It's not good. For us at least. Let's see. Ah, there's there's someone at the court. What do you want? The munificence of Sultan. Of the Salamids. The past few days, neighboring Emir Sultan has been visiting my court on his way to some holy site or something. 
Since his arrival, he has been outshining me with his generosity towards my own courtiers, who have all been lapping up his gold with no dignity. I can't help but scoff when I see him surrounded by adoring courtiers for the umpteenth time. My, my courtiers. A purse for you, good Beatrice, and some coins for you also, kind mayor. And for you, sweet Leonor, sweet honey cakes, remember, riches are meant to be shared. Ah. I can even be more generous. We would gain grandeur. I should take advantage of his silly generosity too. <laughs> ah. I believe he has outstayed his welcome. Better him spending than me. No, I can even be more generous. Here we go. Kind of risky, but hey, we need to do what we need to do. Now, let's get in there and take these populists out. We'll hit them all at once. Here we go. The Battle of Teruel is there. And we will win. Oh no, Mayor Xerardu was wounded. Men at arms they don't have. Inspiration realized. My lord, my beneficiary Elgith smiles and gestures me over with ink stained hands. My book, my masterpiece is finished. Behold, an elegant chronicle detailing the history of the well known Livy Gildiana dynasty, first offered to King Adolfonso II. The cover is wood that has been painted to display a repeating image of a detailed bear. The Livy Gildiana Chronicles gives us 10 and a 0 0.10 more prestige per month and monthly diplomacy lifestyle experience plus 10%. Nice, 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 nice. What a cool artifact. I am impressed. She produced an elegant book with very fine lettering. I am impressed. Uh, should we try to hire her? Is she already part of the court? Can we recruit her? No. Not really. I'm impressed. Our knights showing them what they are made of. Now, get down there. Attack! Everyone attack. Another ally joined the war. Demanding an artifact. What Count Andres Alderes of Teruel? He wants the worn language manual. Nope. Victory there was pretty good. That victory was impressive, and now for the last victory. Charge! My men and women. We must reach them before they are too strong. What's going on here in Asturias? I don't know. County of Pravia? Avero? I don't know. There's there's something going on, as you can see here. There's now the country of Pravia. Defending against leader Abdallah ibn Fadl of the populist uprising in the Muvaladi. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's us. And how about him? I don't really know. Okay, uh, well, well, we'll take them out here. Hopefully soon, potential battle is coming. We should be able to win this. The peasant uprising getting beaten. And here we go. Let's take the last leaders of the populists. Sheikh Adabal. Duke Munil took our place. He's King Alvarez Marshal. For what kind of reason could he replace us as a culture head? Oh, his five titles. The Duchy of Cantabria, Castile, Counties. Wow. I mean, he's... 
respectable, apparently. We've captured Raf, the Chancellor of Leader Abdallah of the Populist Uprising. Okay. Anyways, we have won. The, the Muvalaladi Uprising is no more. Locals have been pacified. Everything is good and we can collect money again. Hopefully soon. There's the new artifact we have here. Let's have a look. We have the the book here. We're going to slot to place it. Ah, yeah, there's a book here. Ah, oh, nice. So we could we could place it here. And then we have, of course, the worn uh, Ah, that's a personal one. Okay, okay. Uh, that's the Libigidia now, Conrad Chronicles. Do we have more? Nah, that's all already displayed. Okay. The war banners. Oh well. It's all kind of good. We're doing well. We're doing fine. Um, Infanta Inez, the sadistic one. Who could you be um, married to? A grandson? Kingdom of Galicia? Pelayu, the son of Duke. Yeah, why not? Infante Juao. Adolfonso is here. The two Galicians, um, he's six, she's ten, I mean, yeah, why not, why not, alliances must be made quick. Renis will be betrothed to Arnul. Player air? Yeah, 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 yeah. The kid. Bold believer? Do we do we still have um We have a court tutor, yeah. And she's kind of good, right? Yeah, she's pretty pretty okay. Pretty okay. Stone of glass. As I struggle to make out the tiny letters on the scroll before me, I feel a headache building once again. Why do scribes insist on writing such small symbols? I squint and try again. Nothing short of a miracle. The aid of a stone of glass, even old men struggling with bite eyesight, could read with ease. Sell everything which is impossible to read. I need one of these stones. Or Fruella, I require you. No, I need one of these stones. Rid us by it. We can afford it. We arrived in Toledo to pay homage to you, glorious king. Yeah, Count Ansor, nice to meet you. He's taking the knee. Serve me well, Count Ansor. Need to recover. We need to have like at least three, four hundred in the bank uh, before we can attack the Sulimids, if need be. That fearless empath. A very, very good general and man. Quite an impressive guy. He's athletic. But we are healthy. Our heir is first in line to inherit Murcia. 
Very nice. Trothid can marry Ximena and Alvaru Sebastianes of Astorias. Yeah, they might be inbred, but she likes women more than men. So here we go. This is the king of Astorias, though. So she's. That's a very, very good marriage. A very, very good marriage. And we should also uh, probably go for an alliance, right? Oh, we are already allied. That could be, yeah. She is good, he is good. They will be good together. 16, 19 health, good. And health is fine. Learn language, success. I mean, the, the thing is, we look halfway decent here, right? But here we'll always look very, very old. Lots of hard work. I've finally learned the Doyle vulgar language. Endless hours of practicing accentuation, sleepless nights, mimicking inflection, countless lessons, mastering intonation. It was all worth it in the end. Ha, with Count Adamar. With Count Ad During my efforts, I looked to emulate King Adamar's accent. I'm sure that he would be impressed with my results. And of course, French peasants now respect me a great deal more. I should send him a letter. Oh, God, he, he didn't like it. Oh, he grew a beard as a reaction to it. Because I made some jokes that had a beard, and he took that beard. And now he has that beard. But we know the language. Uh, you have something that legitimately belongs to me. Who are you? No. We could learn another language, though. Let's let's find out. Do we have someone on our court? We could maybe learn a language from that we that we like. Ah, uh, a daughter maybe. No, not really. Hmm. What is it about? Colored Trava. Uh, that's about our player, heir and son. Worsened disease symptoms. Mm. He's still feeling fine. What the actual? I mean, he's thirty-one. Okay, that's that's of course a big plus. Uh, let's let's have a look around. Uh, Denia, the county of Denia. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what what else are we speaking here? What what are we getting near to the Bakalit Emirate? Yeah, that guy, Baranis. He's speaking Berber. We also speak Ber Sardinian, Sardinian Volga. Hmm, that could be something we could also learn more. How about Brittany? They could. Brythonic language. That seems kind of a, an interesting idea. Here we go. Against King Ribalon. He's 75, but hey. He's feeling, oh, he's feeling pretty poor. Doesn't matter. We'll, we'll try. We'll try. Who knows? Maybe we can do it. Battle of Granada. Uh, what a slaughter that was. We have learned more. Let's find out. Whole of body. Whole of body. Fertility, stress gain, less stress gain. You know yourself, you know your limitations, and know the full extent of your reach. And be fertile and healthy. Good, good, good. The whole of body. Ah. Uh. No, you won't get our artifacts. A culture, a culture has discovered city planning. Ugh. We didn't want city planning, but okay, we'll take it. What will city planning give us? Let's see. City planning can build some things in the cities. It's okay. We want plenary assemblies, though. We want that.
Mm, how is it with our, with our knights and everything? Ah, it's fine. We just need a little bit more money and then we can do something against the Solimids. Or maybe let's let's build something too. I don't know. Toledo? We finished there? Yeah, once this is finished we'll we'll build something else. Oh, and Madrid is also converted. Very, very nice. Uh, let's convert in uh, Cuenza. A building in Toledo. Oh no, I can no longer use the learn language on him. That stressed him out too much. Count Solomon has a beautiful language. Uh, Prince Guocon and Prince Michel. I don't know. Is is someone of them like virtuous or something? Someone rather a learner? Maybe maybe Prince Guocon. He's at least an insightful thinker. His dialect is interesting. So he's closest to us in, in uh, behavior and everything. What's going on? <sighs> oh. Bailey constructed. Good, good, good. Now we'll build some mansions. Here we go. Toledo needs to be a great, great city. Queen Ennis! <gasps> Till death do us part. What happened to her? Why did she die? How can a heart endure this kind of pain without breaking? It cannot be possible, yet here I am, my heart beating on, whilst yours has gone quiet. Oh, Ines, my sweetness, life will not be the same without you. Our soulmate has died. <gasps> what has she died of? Natural causes? Oh, what a shock. At least the memories. At least the memories remain. She's been with us only for like 20 years or something. Only. I mean, it's been, it's a long time. We've had three kids. It's... It's okay. It's okay. I mean, we need someone to represent us, right? Oh... <sighs> Someone who likes us instantly. Mayor, a court tutor and court physician. She likes us a lot. She's a renowned physician. She's honest, calm. She has a lot of learning. She's grateful. <laughs> then we have Abda, also Andalusian. Hildegard Alderes de Cantabria. She's quick, shy, impatient, and a craven. We have our niece who is sadistic. My goodness me. Absolutely not. Um, Sibylia Athana Gildid. She's also an albino. <laughs> uh, Spy Master Estefania. She's also forgiving. Shy, just. Gold Regodo Coelho. Mm, I don't know. I mean, Mayor is is a is a certainly an option. It would kind of be logical with us becoming nearly friends and stuff. So, uh, but let's have a look. I've got to also use some support from someone. Alda de Silvis, look at her. She's she's excellent and she's also intelligent. We have a genius here, Hemma von Chum, but she's deceitful. We don't like that. We don't like that. Hodierne, wow, what a steward she would be. Javis, they're all intelligent. Patient, content, diligent. Diligent, cynical, trusting. Hmm, cynical is not something that we would like so much. Stubborn, diligent, humble. Yeah, that's all kind of nice. 
Um, how, how about we go for Alda de Silvas? Hmm. It's Portu on Portuguese. is of Iberian heritage. Um... Yeah. On the other hand, right, Maya. We've had so many problems with her, though. The analytic black guard. She's honest, at least. Honest, calm, arbitrary. A thrifty clerk. Kind of a toss-up. What would we like? What would we like to, to to represent? Maybe someone very intelligent, right? So let's see. She 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 would be really learned. But Alda de Silva's even more. She's also patient, content, diligent. Yeah, maybe maybe that's that's the thing. And we always wanted to help with our stewardship, so um that's what we'll go for. She is she's of House Silves, whatever that is. Loyal as the Eagle. She's the only one of House Silves, Alda de Silves. Here we go. We'll lose some prestige, but whatever. She she'll probably be a good wife. Content planner, a wise woman. Intelligent. She's wise and we are learned. I, Alda, I gladly accept your hand in marriage. My God, grant us long life and many children. My benign husband. And she she really likes us. Um, out of the box. She looks... Uh, she looks great. And we should try to, to get something like, like we had it with our wife. Yeah. We should try for that. Excellent. What could we do? Um, mm, yeah, we will sing a love ballad to her. That has worked with our wife as well. We're trying to relive that. Like, to, to uh, get rid of... To get rid of the hurt, we want to relive... Relive that. Um... I found a classic Portuguese love ballad, which suits Alda perfectly. I practice it over and over. Everything must be perfect. I find my songbird walking in the Toledo garden, surrounded by her friends. With my heart beating like a hammer, I kneel before her and sing. Alda's cheeks turn a deep pomegranate red, but she does not interrupt me. The companions all look pleased or jealous. Surely a good sign. You have a beautiful voice, my lord, Alda says before she hurries off. Her friends are quick to follow. I stand up on shaking legs, watching them disappear between the hedges, my heart beating harder than ever. Alda won't resist my charms for long, and we should still write our thoughts down to to deal with everything. I feel relieved, occupied with writing. I dip my pen once more. I dip my pen once more. We need to save some money. Let's see where do I we should see if we can now or should con increase control somewhere. Um, it's not really that necessary. Harsh judgment. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son in front of Luke what he thought. He responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. Yeah, indeed, you're just, you're just. My just son. Analytic paragon. Let's see how she she would be. Um, assisting ruler. That would give us two, three. That's five and three. That's eight. Ten, eleven. Or oh, she could help us manage the domain. And look at that! Wow. Just wow, but uh, we could help in every, in every part, really. So, 
We'll put her to general assistance. That that should help quite a lot. Just in general. Our content planner. Let's see what we can do together. The comfort of a friend. There are th few things I enjoy more than Paterna's company. We walk the town together, tossing corn to the pool and forgiving a daring pickpocket, a few acts of charity, and forgiveness can truly ease a stressed mind. After this short break, I was once again ready to take on my duties. I'm lucky to have a friend like Paterna. I didn't realize how much I'd needed this. And a rare flower. As my darling and I walk through the Toledo Gardens, ah, yeah. She wants a rare orchid from Yoruba land, which is nearly impossible to cultivate, but I already have it in my collection. The fickleness of youth, my ward in front of Lucas changed his focus of study. He now pursues knowledge in the art of warfare. Wasn't he looking for that anyways? He's now studying warfare. Okay, I mean, he's bossy. It kind of makes sense, right? I also thought we we would have said he would. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. How's our granddaughter doing? I think she's doing well. Her health is good. Everything should be nice. We need we need more gold. How's the Pope? Pope is fine and likes us. He's going hunting from time. He's exceptionally rich. Look at him. Wow. And he's feeling fine. He's but he's an infirm lunatic, but feeling fine. And and he's more Norish too. Ah, Queen Elda is bearing our child. She's pregnant now. No wonder. An embarrassing odor. <laughs> but it was me I farted. She's relieved and grateful. Ah. Rodrigo, no, you won't get. Oh, well, I don't know. He wants the worn language manual. I mean, he's our heir. Okay, we'll accept. We will accept. He can have that. And ask our head of faith for gold. Which is good. And we can ransom El Donza Galisalic. Oh, the little one here. Yeah, let's accept that. Oh yeah, let's have a look at our prison. We have ten prisoners. That's actually a little bit much. Um, first we want to get the money. And then we'll see what else we will do. Yeah, I'll use this wisely. And Theodorico paid 25 to us as well. Let's go and have a look at the prisoners again. We have Abdallah Umayyad, a melancholic man, generous and ambitious and humble. I mean, he is melancholic, though. I will just set him free. He can go. Poor man. Our father was melancholic. We'll we'll leave him be. But he should he should convert to Catholicism. That will do him good. Then we have Raf Umayyad. Mm, our prisoner, the bold knave. Uh, he should also go. will demand his conversion. We want him far away from us. Sazim Abdallahid. Connected to no one. 600 prestige though. And Sayeda. She should convert and stay with us. Then we have Yukana Tarifid, a fearless empath. 
and lunatic. Don't need no lunatics. Um, you can go. But you should become Catholic. We have Onika Petris Jatabede, the evil adventurer, hunchbacked military engineer. Oh well. Convert and go. If Bado Petris Jatabede, she's kind of inapathetic for now. Uh, prisoner, she's Muvaladi, but with the Gothic. Mm, her betrothed is also in chains, also our prisoner. Okay. Um, negotiate release. Um, we could use her probably if she converts. We have Iberia, Tarifiz, Jotabed. She's spindly now, congenital, long and knobby. Mm. She could become someone. Let's see. Let's negotiate the release. Demand conversion and recruit. Uh, we have Ismai Umayyad. The magnanimous empath. He's compassionate, gregarious, forgiving. Very sympathetic. We want him at the court just to, to hang out. I don't know. And we have Ingundis, all Munis Jutabed, yeah, a little kid. She should also convert and stay with us. Who knows what she might do one day. So everyone's been pardoned. We're pretty rich. I think it's it's probably time to target the Salamids. Right? It seems to be the perfect time. Are we still a pilgrim though? So maybe we should go for a pilgrimage? Yeah, we're still a pilgrim. It's still okay. It's still good. How's our wife? Our wife is fine. She's intelligent, a wise woman, and so on. Content planner. Nice. Our next step will be war against the Salamids. To fulfill the great mission of our family, a Christian, a Christian Hispania, and that's the last step, the last step that has to be made for that, a Christian Hispania. Because as you can see here, Galicia just took over the Samoa part that was down here. King Poncio Ornules of Galicia, our cousin, brother in law, and friend, the content atheist. Yes, yes, yes. Her daughter is an evil blackguard. I didn't ever notice that. She's sadistic, shy, and arbitrary. And uh, she'll be the wife of our grandson here. Arnul Leonores of Galicia. <laughs> yeah. And he, he has no intrigue at all. And uh, Will, he's bossy, but he cannot boss her around. <laughs> she, she will be... She'll be a little bit too much for him. Oh well, thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode, my friends and dear thinkers, uh, where we'll attack and probably take over the Salamids. What will we be up against? We'll be up against 2,400 men. And we cannot take it all. We cannot take it all because we had one big war in our lifetime, so we have to take on the Solomid Emirate or the Duchy of Barcelona. Probably this one. It looks bigger, right? Have a great time until then and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon and happy gaming.